I've never been in a fire like this and it's just horrible. It was a day of hugs and heartache as the Bridgepoint apartments burned and burned. Women were banging on all the doors, there's a fire, there's a fire. So we, I grabbed my granddaughter and I run out, out here. And then we've been sitting here for the past hour and a half or so watching our homes be burned. One woman jumped from a window to escape the fire. She got hurt, but only slightly. Everyone got out. It's hard because you lose, you've lost everything, and it's just so many families. Firefighters saved several pets. Some needed extra attention because of the smoke, but Deborah Allen didn't know about hers. I have two cats, and I'm worried to death that they're going to die in there. Some of the 45 firefighters faced down a wall of smoke. More attacked from the air as flames shot through the roof of both buildings. Chief, what made this fire so difficult to fight? Uh, the wind made it an obstacle, and another thing that made it so tough is uh, upon our arrival, it was already fully involved. The chief says it's the most damage he's seen in a while. Some of the apartment units are a complete loss, leaving dozens of people without a home. They're going to be displaced for quite a while, obviously, as, the, as, as, as severe as the damage is right now. The smoke made it hard to see, but you couldn't miss the sadness. It's a day to remember, so you won't be able to forget it.